Welcome back, everybody. This is Logan with Bearded Bourbon, and today is day 12 of the Indiana Bourbon Club Bourbon Advent. Um, and th like these are, I can't get enough of these boxes. Like I've been showing everybody these boxes, and um, they're saying like th that's that's pretty cool. Um, like or how can I get one? Well, you, can, you I, mean, I guess I maybe you could get one. Um, but it would take a lot of convincing. Uh, but nonetheless, today, day 12. As always, um, follow us on Patreon, or you can become a member. That's completely free to do. You can um, see the kind of like behind the scenes kind of stuff. Um, like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Bearded Bourbon with the underscore. Uh, but today, day 12, uh, the, the, this is over here. Uh, this is the top 10 and top 10 is, is going to keep changing. Uh, we're on day 12 and there, I'm telling you guys, every single pour I've had has been so great. Um, like this is like the coolest thing. I'm so glad I got, I get to be a part of it and I get to also commemorate it, uh, with recording and sharing it with you guys. And even though I was convinced Day 11 was Heaven Hill, but it was not even close to being Heaven Hill. It was Old Elk Double Wheat. So getting into day number 12. Get almost every last drop. Um, so, so yeah, I mean, as far as, as far as guesses, I'm not... Like I've not been doing so hot on these guesses. I have one five out of five day. Um, whoo. Well, that was the Woodford Reserve double oaked on day nine. So if you want to go see like good guesses, go back to day nine. Um, and because even even then I was it was between Old Forester nineteen ten, um, and Woodford Reserve double oaked. Uh, but luckily. Thankfully, I guessed correctly. This has this has a very candy smell to it. Like, like this is just like pure sugar <laughs> in a cup. And I would I would not have any clue as to what what this is. But it's it's very sweet. So as I get into it, um, maybe I'll get some hints. Let's go into the palette. Okay, dare I say that this reminds me of Smoke Wagon. I don't know why. Uh, I think my brain is just programmed to think MGP, Smoke Wagon. Um, I always watch Aaron's videos, and he's always really entertaining. So if you don't follow Smoke Wagon on Instagram or Facebook or anything like that, you definitely should. Aaron is very entertaining, and he's also like uh, very educational. And so like like the way he's doing blends and the way he tastes and uh, it's 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 pretty cool. I am kind of jealous because I wish I could just you know sit with barrels of bourbon and rye and and just experiment and you know blend and taste and you know all that. So that would be that would be that'd be really fun. Uh, but <clears throat> that's not what I do for a living. So if you want to figure out what I do for a living, just ask. Uh, so that sweetness is kind of being tamed a little bit, but still very, still very light. It seems like it's a uh, uh, higher proof, um, but with yesterday, I guessed 129 and it was 107. So I was not even close. This reminds me of something, but I can't quite put my finger on it. But this is delicious, 100% delicious. Um, I don't know if I have this. 
I wish I could just, um, you know, if it reminds me of something, I wish I could just go downstairs and pick out the bottle that it reminds me of and then like just kind of like smell it and taste it and be like, oh, no, that's not it. But that would kind of defeat the purpose of a double blind. But this is, this this does give me um, like uncut, unfiltered vibes. I know I've said that before. Um but then I was convinced yesterday that that was Heaven Hill product, but I was not even close. So it was still yeah, a lot of very sweet. Um, I don't get I get I get more like vanilla and sugary sweetness um, than anything else, and so uh, and even like. Even now, like that, that the burnt sugar, caramel, um, it's very good. But again, it, it does remind me of something. But even on the palate, and it's not a, it's not a, a, a long finish. Um, it just kind of. Just kind of, it's there, but then it just goes away. Uh, but it's it's very sugary, um, kind of like a like a cream pie kind of thing, uh, and I and I really like it. Uh, I I'm just gonna guess. This is like uh, one twelve proof, one thirteen, one twelve. Uh, I'm gonna guess this is an uh, MGP product. I'm gonna say bourbon. I'm going to say non-finished. And I'm just going to guess that this is an uncut, unfiltered uh, smoke wagon. I know I'm wrong. I know I'm wrong. But let's finish this, and we'll see where we're at. Yeah, I know for sure that I'm wrong. But that's what we're going to go with. Let's go to the key card. Like, again, like, how janky is that? Uh, so let's see what we have today. Are you kidding me? This is so ridiculous. Larceny, barrel proof, A123. Holy moly. Didn't even, didn't even come close to a Heaven Hill product. That is bananas. Uh, 112 this is 125.8 proof <sighs> guys I need some help so I don't know I don't know what you need to do I think you need to like I think you need to subscribe because I think that's the only way I'm ever gonna get through this honestly and so uh, this is a bourbon this is non finished um, <clears throat> and so two out of five day is what it is and we will we will be back with day 13 tomorrow and so we'll see you then